What you doing down there? What you doing? What's up guys? It is Monday, March 14th, Monday of spring break. As you can see, home for spring break, not doing anything too exciting this week, um, but took the weekend to do absolutely nothing and I enjoyed it so much. But um, today, getting back to work, going to be answering emails over here. Um, by the way, not shipping any t-shirts out this week, mainly because uh, I'm lower on stock in t-shirts now, so anytime people order t-shirts, I'm not sending out bulk orders, I'm sending out single orders, and it's like a 15 minute drive to the post office when I'm here at home. So I'm just going to wait to ship all the t-shirts until I get back to school um, this coming weekend. So if you guys order a t-shirt this week, that's why it's not being sent out. So I do apologize for that, but um, I just don't have enough t-shirts to make uh, the trip all the way there. I don't wanna just make that long trip for um, only one or two t-shirts, but I'm um, about to get to breakfast now. Um, having a couple servings of Reese Puffs with probably a serving, uh, probably like, I don't know why I said serving, probably like a cup and a half of 2% milk. And then, uh, yeah, going to get to some work and head to the gym once my dad gets home and hit back. So, see you guys in the next clip. So getting ready to head to the gym for a pole workout, hitting back and biceps today. Um, what I'm doing right now is making up my pre-workout and the pre-workout of choice that I've just recently switched to is the Pro Supps Mr. Hyde right here. Um, watermelon flavor. Now the reason I switched it up, C4 wasn't, um, wasn't a bad pre-workout. It was still working for me, it was still getting the job done, but I wanted to switch things up and rather than going to the C450X and kind of bumping things up a little bit in that regard, I went with the Mr. Hyde. Um, again, just to switch things up to get a little bit more caffeine, get a different type of proprietary blend. Um, that's the right word for it. A different blend of pre-workout ingredients to again, uh, just switch things up. I don't know what else to say about that, but um, this is the watermelon flavor. I've been taking it for about three days now and it tastes good and it will kick you in the face real hard. So I usually take it um, about 15 minutes before I work out. So while I'm driving to the gym, then by the time I am warmed up, it is already hitting me. Um, a lot of caffeine in this per scoop. I can try to find that for you real quick. Oh, uh, where's it? 419 milligrams of caffeine per scoop. So um, one of the higher caffeinated pre-workouts. So I'm going to drink this now, head to the gym, and I'll see you guys there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright guys, so done at the gym, on my way home, got my protein shake on deck, two scoops of Cellucor's Core Performance Whey Protein, and then five grams of Micronized Creatine Monohydrate. Now, creatine, creatine, I get asked so often about my opinion on it, uh, just because so many people are either uneducated or they just kind of want to know about my thoughts on creatine. So, what I do is I take five grams, no more, no less, every single day, whether I'm in the gym, whether I'm not in the gym, I take five grams every single day. Now for me, I've noticed creatine has helped me retain water, has helped me look fuller even when I'm cutting, and um, it has never left me feeling bloated or different things like that that I know some people deal with. When some people take creatine, it does leave them feeling kind of bloated and kind of upsets their stomach a little bit. but. Um, that's just all a personal thing, a personal preference type of thing. So for me, I take creatine every single day. It doesn't bother me, and I definitely think it's helped with muscle gains, muscle recovery, and strength gains as well. So when my muscles are hydrated, when they're full, I've noticed, again, I'm stronger in the gym. I'm able to push myself a little bit harder. So for me, creatine has been awesome. It's something that I've taken every single day with my protein shake. Now, that's an, another thing. Five grams every single day, no more, no less, is what I recommend. Uh, a lot of the bottles talk about creatine loading, different things like that, and that's just a marketing scheme. Your body does not need to load 20 to 30 grams of creatine to get used to it into your system. Um, your body's already absorbing some creatine through like red meats and different proteins like that, so your body already is somewhat aware of what creatine is going to do to it so you don't need to do that creatine loading phase that's just a marking scheme they want you to go through that bottle a little bit quicker and hold on there's a cop okay so um, they want you to go through that bottle a little bit quicker so honestly it's just a big marketing scheme by the company when they talk about creatine loading so you don't really need to do that in my opinion as long as you're taking five grams every single day your body will adjust after about a week or two so um, those are my thoughts on creatine that's just something that you need to test out yourself it's a personal preference thing trial and error is basically the best motto when it comes to anything in fitness whether it's workout splits exercises diet supplements <sighs> personal preference find what works best for you that's my opinion on creatine all right guys here at mcdonald's what i got to eat was a double quarter pounder with cheese ketchup only on that by the way this has 50 grams of protein in it the number three protein option on the mcdonald's menu which i learned from uh the anabolic aliens video that eric did um his mcfitness episode on mcdonald's by the way if you guys aren't subscribed to um, Eric's channel, uh, Anabolic Aliens. Go check it out. A lot of cool content over there. But um, yeah, so got a double quarter pounder of cheese, um, some fries, and a Diet Coke as well. So uh, I'm gonna eat this. See you guys in the next clip. So finishing up editing this video that you guys are watching right now, going to have myself one more meal for the night, not really a meal, more of a snack, going to have one bag of the top secret movie theater butter to finish off my macros on the day. Um, again, not really tracking my fats and carbs per se, I'm just making sure I hit my protein and my fiber every single day. Um, that's basically what I'm doing for tracking macros right now. Um, I've been seeing pretty good gains. I've um, been staying relatively lean um, while I have been bulking. I've been consistently adding weight, consistently getting stronger, and that's what we're chasing. So um, fitness for me is a lifestyle. I don't need to put on tons of body fat and bulk super fast because for me there's really no off season since there's no competition or sport for me to be playing. 
uh, right now. So I make this a lifestyle. I do it every single day um, so I can make the process, make the progress slow and steady. But this is going to wrap up the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go hit that red subscribe button. www.trekfisher.com for online personal training. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.